Hi there everybody, on today's video I have this uh, Volvo V70 2003 and it's a 2.4 uh, petrol and I'm gonna be changing the oil and the oil filter as well as the air filter um, so I think I'm gonna start with the air filter here um, and to do this we just need to unclip this uh, plastic clips here and also there are two rubber plastic hoses just sitting there just gonna take them out like so and uh, we can then lift uh, this cover up so once you remove those two little hoses you can just lift the cover up take your filter out So that's my new filter there. I'm using a Bosch part, S3300. If you find that, uh, if you find that the air box in here is very dirty, you can just clean it. Either give it a Hoover or just. Um, wipe it off shouldn't be too bad depends on your driving conditions uh, we then need to fit this bits into the relevant holes in here Just uh, pushing the filter down a little bit on this area so we can uh, fit those parts. A little bit easier. Okay, once, once that those parts have gone in, then you can uh, just uh, put your uh, plastic clips back on here. And then we can just push these little um, pipes back in. So just pushing those back in. And um, 
and that's it now we can um, continue with the um, oil and oil filter change I'm gonna start up here by just pulling the dipstick a little bit and then also opening this oil fill a cup and I'm just gonna leave it there for now um, now we're gonna get the car up and we're gonna drain the oil from underneath and change the the filter as well okay so looking at the car from underneath we can tackle um, the oil filter and we can drain the oil this is the sump just here and uh, I have a socket there it's a um, 17 mil and make sure you have an oil pan to catch the oil okay so it's a little bit tight just uh, right this thing it's open now and just remember that if the engine's been running the oil might be very hot so just be careful if you want to burn yourself you can always wait for it to cool down a little bit Okay, so while we let that drain, we can remove the um, oil filter and just try to get part of your uh, oil pan under that oil filter because it will drip some oil from there too. I'm using one of these tools to open that filter. This says S40, S80 or it says 8616 up there Okay, so the housing came out, the filter is just sitting there. You can just uh, pull it down. That's out. And dispose of that. Uh, so while we let all that drain for a little bit, um, we can change the uh, filter. So that's the house in there. Just gonna remove this um, O ring. And again, I'm using a Bosch filter here. That's the filter there. And that's the new casket. So that's the part number for this uh, Bosch filter, it's P9762. And get that around the house in there. Make sure it fits in the correct groove there. And the filter itself, just push it in there. And that's it. I'm just going to apply a little bit of. Um, multi-purpose grease around this um, 
a rubber o-ring here that's just so it, when, when I tighten this it will accommodate a little bit easier that's all um, and it states here 25 newton meters So if you have a torque wrench, I have um, a Sealy uh, torque wrench here, wasn't too expensive, it's a good one, 25 newton meters isn't really a lot of force, um, you can set it to 25 and then you can tighten this to the correct setting so we have, I have 20 there, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25 right okay so now we're ready we can Go ahead and refit the um, oil filter. So I always do it by hand first, up until the point it needs. Uh, the actual tool so that's just because I uh, make sure it goes in the correct way okay, so now I'm using the uh, torque wrench here to tighten this Okay, now it's closed. Um, that's pretty much it. That's 25 newton meters, so it's not a lot at all. Okay, so I'm just gonna rinse that with a little bit of uh, brake and clutch fluid cleaner. And I've got a new copper washer here. Just, uh, oh, it's a bit small. Okay, so found one in the end. Let's fit the new copper washer. And we can three feet or some plug here that's it not a lot of force either Okay, um, now we can lower the car and top up some oil. Uh, make sure you uh, dispose of the oil in the correct way. Just go to your uh, local um, dump yard or recycling yard where you can throw the oil. Um, so let's continue here. Just gonna lower the car now. So now we can top up some oil. So if we look at the manual here, um, this is a this car is a 2.4 um, S 2.4 S Sport, I think. Um, so 
If we look at the engine specifications, the uh, 2.4S here is uh, it's called the uh, B5244S. And this other one is an S2, that's 140 brake horsepower. So we have these two types here. Now, um, if we look at the um, capacities here, so engine oil for the B5244S or the S2 is 5.5 liters. So you can have a look on your manual. Obviously, if you have the T5, the T3, it, it takes a bit more oil. Um, also, um, we can have a look at the the grades here. This is the engine oil, the oil grades. Now you have a chart here, and it shows you the temperatures minus 30 to 40 degrees C and um, what oil will be more suitable for your car depending where you live um, so I'm gonna be using 5W30 as we are not exactly in a, any country that is extreme this is the UK so it doesn't get extremely cold or extremely hot um, I could also use 5W40 or 10W30 it's all within that range of temperatures but um, we got 5W30 today so that's what we're gonna be using and it's 5.5 liters If for any reason you haven't got your manual, um, you can always use Google. A Google search will bring a lot of information, as it usually does. You can use the dipstick as a, as a reference to measure how much oil is going in. So I'm going to put in three and a half liters. That's what I have in this container. And we'll have a look at the dipstick. Okay, so on the dipstick here, we have uh, two lines, and that's, uh, that's the minimum there, and that's the maximum there. Now I put three and a half liters, so we can check where we are on this marking, and According to that, we can top up. Okay, so three and a half liters, and this is right at the bottom. It hasn't quite reached the minimum mark yet. So we definitely need more oil in there. So that was another liter. Again, we can have a look at this. Okay, so that's just above the uh, the minimum now. And uh, normally between the minimum and the maximum, it is is a liter. But um, it could also be half a liter, or depends on the car really. So it looks like, yes, I need another litre and that will make 5.5 litres. And it might go a little bit higher here. Because once you run the engine, um, some of that oil will go into the oil filter housing. So the extra litre I'm going to put, it might go up to here. Um, but that's pretty much it. And... Um, I'm just gonna top up that extra liter and close the um, oil filler cap there 
and put my dish stick back and uh, and that's it so I hope this video helps and uh, thanks for watching